you guys soon. See ya. Okay. Okay. So today I'm actually shifting my work schedule around a little bit because I actually have a work call later in the evening with my co-founder, who is my boss, um, because she's away in Peru for a conference. So her daytime is actually really filled up with meetings and conference stuff. We have a work call to talk about our hiring cycle and the next round of interviews for my team. We need to do that today, but she's only free in the evening. So we're actually calling quietly into the evening instead. So Okay, I don't think they're gonna stop. What I'm gonna do is actually push my work later into the evening so I have my afternoon free and I'm gonna go for an early dinner and then a dance class. It's really nice to be able to have that kind of flexibility to work around your hours. And this is only one of those things you can do when you're at a startup, when the company is small compared to a big corporate company where everyone's schedule needs to be synced because you're constantly in meetings trying to chase after people at work hours to get your work done. I guess I should talk a little bit about what I actually do. I work at a startup based out of Toronto. I'm obviously not in Toronto, I'm based in Vancouver. So I work completely remote. All of our team, pretty much all of our team is on the East Coast. I'm the only person on the West Coast, but I've never had to work East Coast time because all of our work is pretty independent. As long as we know what each other is up to, for most parts, we can just do the work by ourselves. And if our team needs me, they know that I'm always available in their afternoons. I actually been working for the company on and off for the past three years because I knew the co-founder who contracted me to do some web development and web design work. And then eventually, they liked my work so much that they really wanted me to join the company in some capacity. So even when I was in school, I was offered to try out with the company for an internship. And then that internship rolled into full time and now I'm here. My role is pretty confusing the company. Like I said, we're a startup, we're small. So we all kind of wear multiple hats, except I wear like five or six different hats just because I have all of these skills to offer. Uh, that's not a flex. When I first started, I did contract work for their website. So I did web design and web development. And then I did a lot of also graphic design. I am the internal designer for our company, which means I'm in charge of all of our graphic assets that gets published, that gets printed. For example, I did our business cards, um, I'm doing our company merch, things like that. And then eventually my co-founders came to me and was like, hey, we actually want to develop and design a dashboard web app for our clients. Would you be interested in leading that? I was like, yeah. So that's kind of how my team, the product team currently got started. It was just me handling everything from project management to product design to the actual front-end development. I did all of that. Yeah, it was a lot. I'm very, very happy now that our company is growing. We are scaling to hire more people so I can delegate those tasks away to people who are more specialized in those areas, especially coding. I graduated with a computer science degree, but I don't see myself coding for the rest of my life, like at all, <laughs> no. And the thing is, I only really knew that because I had a chance to go and try it. I'm happy to be able to do all these different tasks because it allows me a chance to go and explore all these different domains to see whether or not I like these things. So over the last couple of months, my product team started becoming way more legitimate. We actually have more of a structure now because we have more people. I still do UI UX designs because I like doing designing still, but definitely foresee in the future as we scale some of those tasks will be delegated to other people that we hire into the team. That's why I have the casting door. Yeah. The casting door? No, 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 no. Just 
go, 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 I love this scene where Anne Hathaway literally just has a piece of tissue and she's like She's like crying through the tissue And you literally see the tissue being wet That's so cool That's such a cool scene This month and next month is going to be super hectic because we have so many travel plans, conferences to attend, and a huge product milestone that we're going to hit. So this is going to be really, really busy. And right now, I'm not even working on the main product. I'm actually wearing my graphic design hat and designing our exhibit booth in Australia. Space, and I feel like you already know that. So let's just push those limits even higher. Yeah. 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 Yeah
When I was still in school, my peers and I were always thinking how we could get into a big corporate tech company, you know, like one of the fangs. Just being able to say, yeah, I work at Google and have that on the resume is kind of like all of our dream jobs and dream scenarios. And I have quite a few of those friends that happened for them and I'm genuinely really happy and they seem to be really, really killing it in life. But then at some point in third, fourth, fifth, and sixth year, yeah, it took me a long time to graduate. I realized that it's just not a lifestyle for me. Like I've always been doing freelance work as a designer for a really long time. And I really liked being able to work on your own at a coffee shop at home while I was traveling. Having that kind of flexibility in hours and lifestyle is something that I really needed. And honestly, I didn't even realize how much I liked it until I got this job and being able to work remotely with a team that is so flexible with all of my other outside of work things has just been such a blessing. And I'm so thankful to my team, to my co-founders who know all of the stuff that I do outside work, like film and acting, and genuinely support me. And because they know I get my work done and it's good. So that's all they care about. Aside from the flexibility and hours and all that, I think working at a startup, you just feel like you're contributing so much more to the vision and to the product that you're building and selling out there. See, I lead the product team. I am in charge of our entire website app. And it's really cool to be able to say, yeah, I built that. Like I know each and one of our employees really do feel like they're making a big contribution to whatever it is that we're building. Like even the interns have such a say in the things that we build. There is still a part of me that always wonders like, okay, what is it like to work at one of the fan companies? There is still a part of me that wants to try just to see what it's like, but I really don't think that's happening anytime soon because I genuinely enjoy my job right now. I actually really like the work that we're doing. I enjoy working with our team. I enjoy the product that we build. I enjoy being able to have this kind of flexibility in my lifestyle. So I really don't think I'm going to go to a different company anytime soon. But it would definitely be interesting to see the difference in how they function.